Hey guys, welcome to Wars of Scale. So today I'm talking about the Link Boss once again. And this was a very popular video of mine, which is called Link Like a Boss, best internal linking tool I've ever tested so far. And even though this was recorded four months ago, I'm yet to find a better internal linking tool. And four months ago, the guys from Link Boss uh, ran a lifetime deal. And you've been asking me since if they ever gonna get, come back. And they are coming back. In fact, if you go to the Link Boss website right now, you can see that the Get Lifetime Deal feature is active. And it's only gonna be active until January the 30th. So you have a couple of days and as per usual, if you use my coupon code, which is special, it's going to be displayed on the screen, you'll get 10% off. Again, it's a unique code uh, only available to our YouTube community. So before you do, before you commit, uh, I want to be 100% uh, transparent and there are a few things I wanted to discuss. So the first thing that I want to address is Link Boss versus Link Whisper. I'm a user of Link Whisper. I'm very familiar with the software. I've, I've been using it for years and years. And um, the reason I'm switching over to Link Boss is as follows. So first off, Link Boss has the true automated bulk internal linking. You just indicate which posts you want to build internal links to, and so the tool does everything automatically. With Link Whisper, it's more of a hustle. Yes, they have the bulk internal linking feature, but you have to come up with your own anchor text. And uh, people on, on YouTube, myself included, have been using ChatGPT for that, and it's just not the best. And you just end up, like me, for example, whenever I use uh, that method, I end up with uh, some blog posts receiving a lot of internal links and like massive amounts of blog posts remaining orphan just because uh, the anchor text is not relevant and it doesn't even appear inside of the article. So uh, I find it much easier to use LinkBoss. And the second one is even more important, in my opinion, is the anchor text quality. So the anchor text quality with Link Whisper is subpar, but LinkBoss is much better. And you can actually, if you don't like the uh, anchor text, you can use AI to come up with uh, different variations until you're satisfied. That's what she said. Okay, and uh, there are some LinkBoss Cons, I use quotation marks because they're not really cons. They are the features that are absent uh, at the time of the recording, but they are being worked on. So support for Elementor Bricks and Divi is coming up in the next few weeks. It's not there yet, so for now it's just WordPress. But if you commit to the lifetime deal, you will get, eventually you'll get support for Elementor Bricks and Divi. The next one is going to be a deal breaker for many of you. So for now, only English language is supported. There are plans for supporting other languages as well, but uh, as of now, only English. Another one would be that if you're using the bulk mode, and I'll show you that in a minute, uh, you will be creating basically one internal link per article. And for people who like two, three, five internal links per article, you have to rerun the bulk mode with the same articles, the amount of times that is equal to the number of internal links. And then the uh, a very nice feature that uh, Link Boss has, which is called the pillar article, which is basically your money article that you want to point uh, links to. It has a cap of 15 links, which I think is kind of funny, but the guys uh, from Lingboss uh, assured me that this is gonna be fixed again in the upcoming weeks. So without further ado, let's go to one of my websites. And this, is, this website has not been submitted to Google Search Console. I've only uh, started working on it recently. Everything is done with uh, SEO writing and the website is called AsianBeers.com. This is a fun calculator that, that I come up with, which is called Asian Beer Calculator. So you can pick your ethnicity, your age, your current uh, growth pattern, and it will show you the probability, say you're half Chinese, half uh, Thai, your age is 20, and you have a no beards kind of so your probability of ever growing a full beard is five percent so you would need a beard transplant if you're one of the lucky ones you have indian have japanese for example and you're 25 years old and you still have no beard your probability is 50 so you can use minoxidil and dermarolin this is just a fun calculator that i did and i have 100 or even more articles and this is all the images are all SEO right and generated so let's go inside i don't even know how many posts i have so i have 180 posts and i have a link boss plugin 
installed here which was very easy to do so let's just log in and i want to show you how easy it is and uh, for me to do internal linking i first had to create categories and this is uh, a whole other story with topic authority silos and clustering so what you need to do is to go to bulk create new bulk then uh, what I like about Link Bosses is that it fetches the categories. So the first category is Beer, Fashion and Trends, which is one of the largest categories. And you can do 100 euros at once. All of them are orphans. So I just add them like so. So I have 97 links added. All I have to do is hit Submit. And just go to the website uh, once again to, to show you that there are no internal links whatsoever. So select category. Beer Fashion and Trends. I think that's that was the one that I chose. Beer Fashion and Trends. Yeah. And just pick any random article like this one. Peach Fuzz Asian Beers. And as you can see, there are no internal links whatsoever. What I like about SEO writing is that it does images. The formatting is perfect. And I edit a YouTube video, which uh, may not be the most relevant one, but still. So no internal links whatsoever. So now the Link Boss has shown me all the source articles and the target articles. So Linkboss wants to connect the article about the half Asian beers to taming your Asian beer, for example. And you can specify your anchor like with Link Whisper, but I don't want to do that. What I want to do is select location. So there are three locations before last H2, before penultimate, which is second to last, and third to last. I usually use before last H2 section because the last H2 is usually the conclusion. No, I don't even remember which editor I have. I think I have Gutenberg. So let's just hit submit. And the status is now in progress, as you can see. So all 97 internal links are being worked on. Okay, as we can see, everything is ready. This is the anchor text, top grooming tips for Asian facial hair, Asian dude long white beard, top Asian fake beard, Asian hipster beard styles. So let's just look at the links. First one, probably. Okay, this is the second H2. And this is the link that goes to another article. And this article, in fact, has another link. And this is how it goes. It's a very easy to do, extremely easy. And as you can see, this was done for every one of those 97 links. And before we go, let me remind you that I have a new resource, which is called vastuniverse.com, when you can check out my free resources, my courses. You can even order a consultation with me. And I already have a lot of feedback regarding the help that I've provided. So yeah, go check it out. And if you want to try Link Boss, use my code, which is special, which will give you 10% off. And be mindful that the lifetime deal is going to end on January the 30th. So in a couple of days. Hope this video was helpful. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. I'll see you next time.